By the end of this video, you will be able to make 3D text for the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So I've got Roblox Studio open here, and I've got a game that I'm working on. Now, in order to add 3D text, you're going to want to install a plugin. And there are several plugins that can generate 3D text, but let's go ahead and go to the toolbox. So in order to find your toolbox, you can just go to home and then press toolbox. And then instead of models, we're going to look for plugins. And again, we're in the marketplace tab here. And when you go to plugins, you're going to want to type in 3D text. And you can look for the 3D text updated. You can also use this plugin. This is 3D text maker, but uh, that costs 35 Robux. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and install the 3D text updated. And when the plugin is finished installing, you can go to your plugins. And you can see there's a 3D text maker that popped up for me. If you do not see yours, you can go over to the left-hand side and click on Manage Plugins. And then just make sure when you scroll down that you enable 3D text updated. So let's go ahead and open up the 3D text maker plugin. So this will open up a prompt and it will ask you to select a part in your workspace so that this will act as a C-frame for your first letter. So I have a part that I already inserted into this game. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And once I have that selected, I'm going to click on start. You need to have that selected before you click start. It will ask you what direction you would like the letters to go, and you can go ahead and change these. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just start typing in my text. So let's go ahead and say my first 3D text. And then you're going to click on create letters. Okay, so you can see that it was able to add 3D text to my game. And you can see it actually, I'm not seeing the first word that I typed in my, so my first 3D text. So uh, what might happen for you is that you want to check your part and just check the transparency. And I went to the transparency and when I did that, I saw that the first word was in that part. So you could go ahead and, you know, change this uh, text to the size that you would like. And then you can go ahead and fit it to the part that you would like it to fit in. So in order to change properties of the text, you can go over to the workspace and click on 3D Text Maker. And you can see it has every single letter in here. So you can see the M is there. And, and I can take that, once I have it selected, I can actually move that around. So if you want to change that uh, 3D text, I'm just going to go ahead and delete the first one that I created. And then let's go ahead and try it again. And then so you select your part. And then you press Start. So I'm going to go ahead and change the letter space to one. I think that's for blocks. So the letters will be one block apart. And then let's say first text. And then let's try a different font this time. So I created the letters. And you can see it's inside the block. In order to make this work correctly, you're probably going to need two parts. So you're going to need the block that you originally put the text in. And then you can make that block transparent. So like I did before, I'm going to make this transparent. And then now I can see the text that I wrote. It's kind of an interesting looking text. <laughs> so it looks like that font is backwards. So I went back to the first font. I'm going to make that part transparent so I can see it. There we go. And so now you can see uh, each time you change something in the text maker, it would change the text in your game as well. But you can see that it's 3D text. It's attached to that part. So in order to put that on like a sign or something, you'll want to create another part. And then you just put it behind the text. So now you can have 3D text on the sign. So you now know how to make 3D text for the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.